It was Stalin's arbitrary decision to cut this off, this cut this region off and draw those stupid, totally, what, uh, uh, absurd borders. But uh, uh, despite that fact, most of the countries in the world still recognize those borders as, quote, unquote, internationally recognized borders. It's, um, I don't know, it's absurd to me. It's absurd to me that the U.S. president, the, the, the heads of state of, of, of all these countries throughout the world would take a Stalinist position on, uh, on Artsakh. Uh, do you think that that has something to do with the United States' relationship with Turkey? Of course it does. Of course it does. The United States has extremely tight relations with Turkey. They count on Turkey for a lot of things. Turkey's sort of their little puppet in the, in the region. Turkey does more or less what they want it to do. Is that it has a strong army. The United States wants to use that army, you know, uh, uh, to police the Arab states, to police Iran, to what uh, enforce U.S. policy in the region, and due to that, the United States is willing to totally ignore the rights of an awful lot of peoples, including the rights of the Armenian people. They're willing to ignore historical reality. They're willing to ignore de demographic facts. They're willing to ignore an awful lot of stuff, just to what to keep in good with Turkey. It, it's very similar to what Stalin was doing in 1920-1921 when he, what, cut Artsakh and Nakhichevan off from Armenia just to get in good with uh, the, what, Turkish uh, government at the time with, with Ataturk. Uh, apropos Turkey, explain the demographics of uh, Nakhichevan. It's really uh, cut off from Azerbaijan, isn't it? Yes, it's, it's to geographically, it's totally cut off from Azerbaijan. It has nothing to do with it at all. Um, it's sort of a, it's an enclave uh, south in the southern region of the present Armenia. Um, there's, there are only 300,000 population there. And uh, the region has always been historically Armenian also. And as you can see, geography has nothing to do with Azerbaijan. But uh, since that's the only territory, Azer quote unquote, Azerbaijani territory that borders Turkey, it's extremely uh, strategic for Azerbaijan. It was strategic uh, at the beginning of the century also, they, in, uh, you know, to have one region administratively linked to Azerbaijan, which would border Turkey. Um, so, uh, you know, again, Nakhichevan was cut off from Armenia for political reasons, for political reasons that had nothing to do or that, that even contradicted reality, contradicted the, the interests of the people at the time, contradicted the necessities of the time and which contradict which contradict all our efforts for peace peace cannot be established in the region as long as absurd frontiers exist as long as absurd decisions are what uh, forced on people people just can't accept absurd decisions do you think the Azeris and the Turks have any kind of imperialistic ambitions to actually obliterate free Armenia? Well, if you look at maps recently published both in Azerbaijan and in Turkey, where the southern part of present Armenia, in other words, Zangezur, the region of Zangezur, where the region of Zangezur and the northern shore of Lake Sevan are in Azerbaijan, and the rest of Armenia is nothing but another uh, province of Turkey. Well, if you look at those maps, then you'll understand that uh, at least some people, influential people at that, uh, obviously don't believe that Armenia should have a future. 
And if you listen to what they say, and if you listen to what a lot of people write, then you'll get even more convinced of that. Tell me a little bit about your army. They're all volunteers, aren't they? Well, volunteer, who wouldn't volunteer to defend his own house, his own family? They're all people from here, from the region. They're in, you know, in the thousands of, uh, among the thousands of soldiers we have, there are only something like 10 from Armenia here, this place, and 15 there in another region, and the whole region of Martinique, there are only about 10 people from out of Artsakh. In other words, they're local people. They're defending their families and their homes. So when you say volunteer, no one really wants to fight a war. No one really enjoys fighting a war. Fighting a war is more like cleaning a toilet. It's something you have to do. It's dirty work, but you have to do it because if you don't do it, things only get worse. There's a great difference, though, between your army and the Azeri army, isn't there? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Our people are much more motivated. We're outnumbered, outarmed. You know, they, our enemy has a much more ammunition, better quality arms, everything. In other words, if you, mathematically speaking, we should have lost long ago. We should have lost long ago. But we keep resisting and we're succeeding. We're succeeding, we've had big successes. Mostly due to the fact that our people are more motivated. Like I said, they're defending their homes and their families. While the Azeris, they're coming to a region that they really don't know about. That they, a lot of their soldiers, a very important number of their soldiers, deep down inside, they know that this isn't part of Azerbaijan. They know it's just not worth dying or getting wounded for this place. That it's not worth staying awake all night, uh, you know, sleeping in the snow, going through all this trouble to fight for a land which has nothing to do with their country. A lot of them really understand it deep down inside, even though they don't admit it. And that's why they run away when a lot of them, you know, run away very, very, very quickly when we start attacking them. And that's the best thing they could do, because it's stupid to resist. Why should they resist? Why should they continue oppressing our people? Why should they resist uh, to what? Make their politicians happy. If those politicians really want to uh, fight this war, let them come to the front and let them fight themselves. Once you have liberated Artsakh, would you prefer to have your own political structure independent of Armenia? Look, this is my personal opinion. Armenia, the Armenian people, are one people. And our country is one country. Artsakh is a part of Armenia. Today, well, the, on December 10th, 1991, there was a referendum in Artsakh where the people here decided to declare an independent republic of Artsakh. Despite that, I think that's only an, a provisional decision. I think it's, uh, I think it's uh, the only real future for Armenia for, for Artsakh is to be reunited with Armenia. It's the most natural, most logical outcome of all of this.